Robert De Niro is a complete idiot. You talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you, you little bitch. <laughs> Speaking to a class of students, De Niro put the current state of the U.S. in movie terms. When you started school, the country was an inspiring, uplifting drama. You're graduating into a tragic, dumbass comedy. A tragic, dumbass comedy. A tragic, dumbass comedy. That's kind of ironic, because tragic, dumbass comedy describes almost every movie De Niro has been in for the past 20 years. Seriously, I heard De Niro say tragic, dumbass comedy, and I thought he had a new Meet the Fockers movie coming out. De Niro has been in more crappy films than the number of times people have imagined my shock. Dirty Grandpa. Like a Werther's original dropped down a sewer drain, Dirty Grandpa represents the careless fumbling of a classic talent that once brought pleasure to millions. The emphasis there being on once. Analyze that. Yeah, I've analyzed your recent filmography, and it's the most depressing list since Schindler's. Hey, De Niro, given that you haven't been in a good movie since the 90s, rather than subjecting us to your tawdry, predictable, anti-Trump verbal diarrhea, divisive, racist, misogynist, maybe you should concentrate on, oh, I don't know, being an actor? You've already ruined your legacy by doing a relentless deluge of dreadful films. Now it looks like your sanity is starting to slip too. He wants to punch people in the face? Well... I'd like to punch him in the face. Yeah, you look like a dollar store Gandalf who forgot to take his dementia meds. You ain't gonna be punching anybody, you stupid fucking herb. And if you do punch someone, it should be your agent, because for the last two decades, your movie roles have been about as memorable as Hillary Clinton's election victory speech. It's also kind of ironic that back when you were in a good movie, Taxi Driver, 40 years ago, you played an unhinged lunatic who wanted to kill a politician. Which is the very scenario your hysterical scaremongering about Trump might create in real life. Thanks to its maniacal obsession with delegitimizing Trump, the left has created plenty of potential Travis Bickles. A tragic, dumbass comedy. Hey, De Niro, the only tragic, dumbass comedy is you and your dying career. You reportedly told your wife, I wouldn't have to keep making shitty movies if you didn't spend all my money. You're a fraud. You're a sellout. You're a washed up has-been whose movies are as arduously dull as your cringe-worthy virtue signaling. But tragic dumbass comedy. 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 Robert De Niro, please do us all a favor. Just fucking retire already. And when it comes to politics... SHUT THE FUCK UP! <laughs>could be more triggering to libtards than my face and this slogan. Get your new premium quality conservatism is the new counterculture t-shirt right now at infowarsstore.com and let the butt hurt commence.